Hey guys, welcome to Dog Will Fix It. Uh, and today's symptoms we're talking about were when you're parked at a set of traffic lights or a stop sign and all of a sudden your battery light starts flashing while the car's on idle, right? Like very rarely. So it used to happen to me maybe twice a year. Um, set of lights and all of a sudden the battery light, the red battery light at the top will start to flicker. And then as soon as I drive off, it's gone. I don't see it again for maybe six months and then it, then eventually it comes back again right now in that situation I just ignored it because I was like you know it's very rare to see it but over time over the last two years it got worse um, and I had a battery change in the car about a year ago but then what I found was is after a couple of months the battery was low on charge because the car was laboring in start so when I'm trying to restart the car uh, or start, start the car up it was like it was slightly laboring which told me something was up I uh, did a battery test there are a number of ways you can do a battery test the first one is you can plug a multimeter in right you can grab a multimeter um, when the car's off you test it against the battery and it should read out 12.6 or more or slightly more uh, mine was reading out 11 so the battery was definitely low when the engine is running you do another test it should be reading out around 13 volts 13 volts this car was reading at around 12 and a half so definitely something up with the alternator so just so you understand when the engine is off the alternator is not running so the battery you're just testing the battery you should be around 12.6 volts approx when the engine is on and it's turning the alternator turning which means it's generating electricity and it means you, it should be generating around 14 volts which is then charging up your battery now if it's not doing that your battery over time will go so I did some research, did some testing. The other way you can test it is using OBD2 end port and actually just check the voltage from that with a live reading. If we have a quick go out, we'll have a look at the alternator now. So the alternator is just down there. You can see it in the video. Um, this car had some piece of crap American alternator. This is a German car. This is a BMW. You don't put American parts in this car. It had some kind of, uh, I can't remember, American branded um it had an american branded alternator which i had removed it was running it was pulling out around 12 to 30, uh, just under 13 volts so i had that removed and i had a bosch um a proper bosch uh, alternator put in which you can see down there running at the moment and that put this car back up to 12 volts uh, 14 volts while running and the battery is always running absolutely fine now at 12.6 volts when the engine is off a couple of th other things that I want to mention around this is that once I changed the alternator this car came to life right my heated seats um, warmed up three times quicker and hotter the rear demister window that you see at the back I mean that would take forever to demist anything and now that thing just works it just demists uh, the window within a couple of minutes um, so the new alternator definitely made a difference no more battery uh, sign on idle that I've seen in the last two months now since I've had that changed but the car just seems a lot more happier running at the right voltage when the alternator is on and it's maintaining the batteries um, the battery um, energy levels at 12.6 when the car is off so just a quick there quick little video to just explain some of the symptoms that you've seen that I've been seeing over the last couple of weeks or months before I had the alternator change so alternator change fixed that I uh, hope that helps if you're getting similar symptoms a similar you know messing around of the car then maybe that's one thing to look at test the voltage if the voltage is below 12.6 uh, when the car is not on or when the car is running it should be around 14 or uh, mine's normally around 13.9 which is good enough um, if it's not at those levels then maybe your alternate is not running at 100% so like I said this car had a rubbish uh, American piece of crap I can't remember the name honestly I don't even want to remember the name but I slapped in a Bosch one it cost around 140 quid um, and if you return the old one they give you a discount um, because they reconditioned them right and all of the alternators nowadays are reconditioned but I hope that helps thanks for watching sub the channel like the video I will catch you guys in the next one